This is Rue. He is a red squirrel who became an orphan when his mum got hit by a car. Since human took his mother's life, I felt an obligation to give Rue his opportunity to be a wild squirrel. For the past three months, I have raised Rue. His first release to the wild didn't go to plan, as he returned home sick and lost a considerable amount of body weight. After a week of medicine and food, Rue was ready for release to the wild again. But what if being raised by humans and living in a house impacted his ability to live a life in the wild? Just a week ago, I thought I was saying goodbye to Rue after he was extremely sick. But as I've already learnt, you should never underestimate the resiliency of a wild animal. Can you draw? No. We're not sure what happened to Rue, but to help him in the wild, we're going to install a feeding station and a dray box. The last thing we need to install before releasing Rue is this feeding platform that we made. Hopefully this will prevent him from starving and he can slowly find wild food but still have some extra food from us. He does need to learn how to eat pine cones, but it might take a few weeks. So hopefully this will help him. We were just finishing putting up the feeding station and Juan found a squirrel skull. So it's been over a week and a half since Rue returned very skinny. Oh, skinny. He's had a week of mm -hmm. antibiotics and we fattened him up a bit and he's ready to be re-released. Right, come on. Okay, you have to remember to eat and don't get in trouble with anyone, like cats. I walked Rue to the feeding station but he immediately wanted to explore the trees. He went straight up the tree. Right Yay! <laughs> he soon came down to play with us. Hi, Ru. It's exciting. The wild again. We then discovered Rue is absolutely terrible at opening pine cones. Although I gave him pine and spruce cones at a young age, he always took them to his bed and ripped them up. And I don't think he actually practiced handling them. Rue was so happy to be wild again. We spent the whole afternoon with him. Hi. And he has found a new dray. A last peak and we said goodbye to Ruth.
The next day, Rue came to find us. After some playing, Rue took us to the forest. Rue was using the feeding station and something had changed in Rue. He was more alert, more focused on feeding and less interested in us. Rue had finally mastered feeding on pine cones. This video is sponsored by SanDisk. So I'm currently traveling for a trip of a lifetime. I'm currently in Santiago and I've been editing this entire series about Rue on the go from my desk, hotel rooms, the airport, and it's vital for me to have a reliable, super fast and rugged data storage. This is the SanDisk Extreme Pro. It's the portable SSD drive and it is perfect for productivity. I used to get so frustrated waiting for hard drives when I'm editing videos, rendering, exporting, and that's why these are essential. They're nearly two times as fast as the previous generation. They're also really tough. I once dropped a hard drive and lost four terabytes of content, but these SSD drives have a three meter drop protection and they're IP65 water and dust resistant. Click the link below to check out the SanDisk Extreme Pro portable SSD drives from the official WD store. We haven't seen Rue for three days now and we've just come to fill up the feeders and call for him but he doesn't seem to be around. Maybe he's sleeping. It was already a week since Rue's release. He's already progressed further than the first release. There was now larger gaps between seeing Rue. It was several days since we've seen Rue, but I wasn't worried. It felt like the end of an era. We cleared Rue's cage and shut the gate for the last time. I haven't seen Rue in five days now and he's doing well. Rue has been wild for a month now. Oh, do you want to play? <laughs> I can play with you. Oi! This might be the last time I see him this autumn. If it is, have a good autumn and remember to find food. Ooh. 
his ears have grown. They're like long. <laughs> He's definitely got bigger. For weeks, Rue has disappeared, and we don't know where he's been going. So today I decided to follow him. Rue has been crossing the road. It was somewhat expected, because the woodlands are on either side of the village. So all the squirrels cross the road. But it saddens me what killed Rue's mother is now a daily challenge for him. We followed him into the forest. Who has a friend? At first he was upset. Rue! But it almost seemed like he didn't realise it was us. Rue, hi! And when he did, he came down to play with us. I've had many beautiful days with wildlife. As a wildlife photographer, I've experienced many intimate, incredible moments with nature. But I will never ever forget the day a wild animal that I rehabilitated showed me his new home. Rue would come down to play and would then take us to the next tree and wait for us. And he continued to do this. Rue was asking us to follow him. He took us deeper and deeper into the forest. And we followed Rue for five hours. Rue was so excited that we were in his new home. Rue would give us a piece of bark or a leaf. I showed Rue blueberries. Do you want another blueberry? Here, have another one. That one's bad. Yeah, okay. Good boy, Rue. Put your foot there. More blueberries? Okay, this way. And he started to eat them on his own. I taught him to eat blueberries. <laughs> Thank you, Rue, for sharing your world with us. You didn't need to. You could have left and never come back, but you showed us your new home. You showed us how you travel in the forest, how you cache and dry mushrooms, how you play with bouncy branches, <laughs> you showed us your new friends. Well, I say new. I've known Buddy since before you were born. Thank you, Rue. Thank you for this incredible journey we've shared with you. Hi. 
Hi, Bruno. <laughs> We've gone for a walk today to try and find Rue and we're walking through this forest and we just saw Buddy, who I've been photographing pretty much all summer, lovely male red squirrel, and he came from the trees behind me, so I'm pretty sure that's where he sleeps, that's where his dray is, and this whole forest has been marked by the forestry company to clear cut it. and. This is going to directly impact the squirrels, but so many other species. It is a plantation, so these are trees that have been planted for the purpose of cutting them down, but it is not sustainable. Clear cutting completely destroys the root system, the fungal system, and regeneration takes years and years. And there are ways to make these plantations into better forests that are good for wildlife. You can selectively log and harvest some trees and it doesn't impact the wildlife so much. There are also no wildlife surveys when they come to clear cut, so they don't check for any endangered species or red list species that may be nesting. Red squirrels aren't endangered, but just a quick walk in this forest, you can see squirrels use it, it is their home, there are drays here. We saw Buddy leave from this forest and we don't know when they're going to cut it down, but this could completely disappear in the next couple of years. It has been several days since we've seen Rue. Rue had left the area and although we didn't find his new dray, I was certain Rue had found a new home. We walked in the forest, calling for him, but we couldn't find him. We were leaving Sweden tomorrow. We'd already walked in the forest yesterday and this morning looking for Rue. And then we literally opened the door. Rue, we were just gonna look for you. Rue had never seen the front door, but somehow he was waiting on the doorstep. That's bizarre. Maybe he could smell us. We were literally leaving to look for you. A strange coincidence. I don't know. Give him some avocado. He deserves it. Rue was eating pine cones, mushrooms. He was strong, agile, and alert. Rue was wild and free. I was so grateful to see Rue on our last day. But then I remembered I was leaving. What a beautiful experience it has been to know Rue.
Rue went into his dray, looked at me, and covered the entrance with lichen. I said goodbye, but I couldn't bring myself to leave. I waited, hoping he would look at me once more, but that was it. In the next episode, I return to Sweden to look for Rue. And I discover something very unexpected. My hoodie. <laughs> so...